So I know my upload schedule lately has been very sporadic to say the least. It's been so busy in here, like literally all I've had time to do is print every day of the week, nonstop from when I wake up till I go to bed, there's always something that I have to do, which clearly doesn't leave me any time to make videos, especially the videos that uh, I've been making lately where we're doing a little bit more tutorial type of stuff or trying new things or whatever. Those take some serious time to put together. I don't think people realize how much work actually goes into those things. We're talking like whole day, two days, sometimes three days of filming, getting footage, and then anywhere between eight to, shit, I've spent like 20 hours on an edit before. Like, it's a lot of work to make one of those things. Anyways, the work around here has not slowed down whatsoever, and it looks like it's not gonna slow down for at least another month, which is something that I'm definitely not complaining about. Um, and knowing now what goes into those other videos, Clearly, those two things, yeah, they can't both happen at the same time. <laughs> but I still really want to make things because that's what I love to do. And I woke up this morning thinking, man, it's been a really, really long time, like over a year since I just made a straight up shop vlog. No plans, no specific topic to cover, no sponsor plugs, none of that shit. Just pick up the camera and start winging it and really make something out of nothing like I used to do all the time on here. So that's what we're doing today. Wheels, new toys here, buddy. Well, that'll keep them occupied for a while. First things first, let's get this shipped out and get it out of my life. There was 400 t-shirts, two color front, two color back, neck labels, then hoodies, also two color neck labels, 100 of those, um, and 750 stickers, something like that. I don't know, this one consumed a lot of my life lately. <laughs> Thank you to my fellow YouTuber, Motonocity, for trusting me to make his new merch. This stuff will be, uh, he'll have this in like a week. You should probably go check it out because it's pretty awesome. My front entrance looks like this every day. I can't wait to move. why I'm changing tape out right now, it's because I was just printing hoodies on here last. The old stuff was covered in like that layer of fleece and web adhesive and some people just lay a fresh layer of glue over top of that and keep on going. You don't wanna be doing that, trust me. Spend the extra five minutes and 30 cents to retape, and your prints will be better. <laughs> Okay, so I'm starting off with 100 tees. We're printing a two color back, one color front, both of which are getting under base, so technically a three color back, two color front, however you wanna think about it. 100 of those is actually gonna eat up a good chunk of my day. But it's cool, we're doing this for a client who's having their 10 year anniversary. They're actually like one of the first shirt printing clients that I ever had, even before I had this stuff when I was using Plastisol heat transfers. I think it was like within the first five people that got me to make them shirts, these guys are still here, it's pretty awesome. And Dan came up with a super killer design for this thing, kind of like a, a simple badge left chest print and then a really cool graphic on the back that, to commemorate the whole 10 years thing. There's bullets and guns and gun parts and all this stuff in there. It's really awesome. I already made all the screens for this thing yesterday. They're already loaded on the press, but I still gotta register this thing, test print, and then get into production. So let's get to it. registration went way too easily. I did the front and the back in like a minute a piece or something like that and it is super tight. Let's do this. backs are done. This looks so badass, by the way. I wanted to knock out the backs first because uh, they're obviously gonna be the most time consuming and probably the ones with the greater chance of something going wrong. So I always knock out the most difficult or most time consuming part of the print first and then move on to the easy stuff at the end. So now we're at the easy stuff. We gotta just do the little chest prints and these are done. All 
all done. Those things turned out super sick. That design is so good. If you guys want a cool design like that for yourselves, please hit us on our website, hit the design page, and maybe you'll be lucky enough to get Dan working on something for you. Ugh. And welcome to my messy, super cluttered office. Actually, here, check this out. So all this right here, this is all my stuff. This is all merch that I either haven't made yet, have made and haven't released yet, or stuff that's in development, like, you know, these Rogue Lab tactical backpacks. Those are pretty cool. I'm working on those. We got Rogue Lab tactical pens. These are so sick. I'm, uh, they're actually ready to go. I'm releasing those, I don't know, at some point. And then all this is all jackets and hoodies and stuff. There's some jackets that I should have done like in the summertime that now I'm gonna have to wait until spring probably because it'd be pointless to make them now. Um, and then other jackets that I need to probably haul ass and make like immediately because they're like winter, fall kind of jackets that uh, I should do those like right now. And then yeah, all the custom branded tape and mailers and all that, a bunch of stickers and all those boxes boxes to ship some stuff in. I gotta make more of those clearly because I'm out of those. Uh, and a couple hundred hats, I gotta get the hell out of my way. I have no idea what I'm even gonna do with these yet. I have a problem with collecting stock, thinking I'm gonna make a bunch of cool stuff and do something with it, and then I forget how busy I am with client work. <laughs> That's also why I stopped filming videos in here because yeah, it looks like cluttered shit. Anyways, I gotta jump on the vinyl cutter and make a few graphics. We're making some tail IDs and some door logos that are going on some helicopters. I make stuff for this helicopter place probably like once a week, once every two weeks it seems. I make it pretty often, it's super awesome. My stuff is on a lot of shit flying around in the air right now, that's pretty cool to think about. Really hoping that we're gonna get to wrap one of those bad boys soon. We've been talking about it a little bit, there's some maybes up in the air, we've been doing the research on it behind the scenes because it's not like wrapping a car. There are rules and regulations and special kind of vinyl and stuff. If you wrap it with the wrong shit and it comes off and gets caught in a rotor, people die. So that's kind of scary to think about, but we want to do it and let's hope we get this because that will be the coolest thing ever to wrap a helicopter on this channel. But for now, the simple stuff. So let's knock this out. Don't mind me, I'm just over here picking my a-hole. Done deal, wrapped up 12 of those bad boys. Oh, and somebody ordered a shirt while that was going on. Let's get that packed up. Not to toot my own horn here, but seriously, how good are our new mailer bags? These things are incredible. I really hope my piece of tape covering up this guy's address is doing its job. Speaking of which, thank you very much, Chris Baker, for supporting what we're trying to do here. But yeah, these things look incredible. I think I need to do an updated branding video. I did that video, uh, Why Branding Matters, a really long time ago. That was pretty much right when I first got my press. You know, I was printing boxes for the first time, and that was like right when I was first starting to step up the game, going away from the spray painted boxes and the crappy little homemade printed cards going in the stuff. Everything has stepped up so far since then, like elevated from here to level 1000. So uh, maybe I should update that soon, but let's get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, couch. <sighs> Needed some of this. That was actually kind of a chill day around here. So we had 100 shirts printed front and back, multicolor. So it was like 500 total prints or something like that. It did take a little bit of time. It took way longer than it should have because of filming it, obviously. And then, you know, making those graphics and stuff after. That was relatively fast. But it all did kind of eat up a bit of time carting this camera around. Probably could have squeezed in a lot more. I could have gone into the dark room and reclaimed and degreased a bunch of screens and prepped them up for coding tomorrow because there's a whole lot more jobs happening this week that I could have got ahead on, but I figured I'd cut it off there because I still have to edit this thing yet tonight and I have no idea how long that's gonna take yet. And actually that was only like 30 or 40% of what happened today. I cut out a lot of stuff I didn't film myself, you know, doing the, the business stuff, the email and the talking to clients, the sending out quotes and all the other stuff that happens behind the scenes that I can't seem to figure out how to film and make look cool. <laughs> That's really kind of my main concern with these things. And stopping to do video calls, I did one of those today. I do a few of those a week. The odd time it's with clients, not as often. Usually I try to keep that to emails. It's usually with brands and prospective partners to uh, you know, start kicking things up a notch in this channel. So that was a thing that happened today. Cleaning up the shop a little bit after I was done. Nobody wants to see me walk around with that big old duster, so I didn't film that. <laughs> Ordering blanks and supplies and a few other little business things and then just regular human stuff. Stopping to eat some food and I gotta catch 
to work out yet, which I'm literally gonna do right after this because I gotta get my fat ass back into shape. But yeah, it was a small fraction of what happens on a regular day around here. After doing this, I'd really like to do like a full day in the life type of video. A lot of you guys ask me, how do you do so much shit all the time? And I honestly have no answer for that. I just wanna work on something from when I wake up until I go to bed. That's just my deal. That's just what I like to do. But I think it would be cool to document the full 17, 18 hours that I'm awake and wait for a time when things are actually getting real. Today was kind of chilled out and yeah, show what really happens here on a daily basis. But if I'm gonna do that, I need to find somebody to follow me around with a camera, literally from when I wake up until I go to bed because if I'm filming anything myself, I'm gonna be moving at like a third the speed and I'm not gonna get as much done. So that's a, that's a new challenge. I think I need to find someone to do that. That might be a cool video to do. But that was fun. I haven't picked up my camera and just shot a video with absolutely zero game plan in a really long time it seems. So it was cool to kind of get back to I guess the vlog roots or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Let me know if you guys dig this type of stuff and maybe I'll make more of it. Please plug it down in the comments below. Wheels, do you have anything to add to this? No? <laughs> well please, drop a thumbs up on this video for Wheelie. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Ah, I just fucking spilled. I made this granola slash cereal from scratch myself, by the way. Oh, the lighting changed a whole bunch now. Shit, I should have closed the curtains for this. Holy <laughs> fucker. Oh, so close. I don't think this thing can handle any more spills. Here's a little secret movie magic stuff. I had to get that shot of pushing everything into this bag with one hand because I was holding the camera with the other hand and it kept sliding around, so taped it down to the table. <laughs> the stupid things that go into one little shot. Shout out to the boys from Golden Press Studio for livening this shot up. They sent me yeah, this sick little light off my Amazon wish list, and it's seriously one of my favorite things ever. I use this in everything. I mean, seriously, look. Look at it now, boring, shitty. Again, bam, a little bit of flavor to it. So much better. This is the best thing ever. Thank you guys. I want seriously like 10 more of these. <laughs> I swear, kitty arms, when they do this, I don't know. I can't get enough of it for some reason. It's hilarious to me. <laughs> these shoes are so damn squeaky. I remember when I was a kid at school, anytime I got shoes that would squeak on the floor, I would go down the hallway, through the gym, through the classrooms, whatever, just squeaking those things everywhere I went as loud as humanly possible because I thought it was hilarious, annoying the shit out of everybody. Well, one day I was doing that, I was squeaking them all the way down this long hallway for like 30, 40 feet, just being this annoying little bastard. And <laughs> I got towards the end and this one teacher just swung the door open to the classroom and just started freaking out, screaming at me, yelling at me to shut up and <laughs> stop squeaking my shoes whenever and I remember I just paused and I looked at her for a second and didn't say anything and just went <laughs> and well straight to the principal's office I went where I probably spent most of my time in school <laughs> a little insight into what I was like as a child I was terrible <laughs> actually I'm still terrible <laughs>